Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, okay, this is uh, a bonus video in the Limer series. Uh, this is a real project. Actually, I'm working in my part time uh, in my own spare time. So here we have an orders table. So this is a pure blade table. Uh, we will blade uh, using Bootstrap pagination and uh, some filters here. Uh, maybe yes. Okay, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, we will try to mimic this functionality in the live wire. So we'll just migrate this whole component to the live wire. And uh, yeah, let's see if that works. So let's go ahead to our project. And uh, I already have live wire installed. You can just put live wire uh, into your project. And uh, let's go ahead and make our first component. Okay. So we have our order table component. Let's check this order table component. Okay, so this is the component, and let's check the blade part as well. Okay, so this is the blade part. Okay, first of all, we'll just open this blade view and copy everything into the table component, and let's see if that works. Okay, so yeah, this is the index page, like where order is order is being rendered. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Pick this up, okay, and we don't need to find put the results here as well. We'll just move it to live wire component, and here we'll just actually go here and uh, put the live wire here as well. Like we just let's just migrate the function, search function. Okay, so this is everything here, and here uh, let's not worry about that. Let's just first uh, migrate our component. Okay, and let's just migrate the blade part as well. So this is our table. So we don't need this. This is just a deleted link. We'll just put it here. Okay, we, and remaining of the component, we'll pick it up. And we'll take to this component here, okay. And we will, we'll use the same, uh, this component here instead of the root component. Actually, uh, this is the way to make it. Okay, so we have our component here. We don't need this as well because we are not using it anyway. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the blade component as well. And now the last thing is uh, instead of uh, this, we'll just uh, reference our uh, order table component here. Okay, and let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay. Uh, so there is, there is no result being passed to it. Uh, let's go ahead and fix this. Uh, actually, let's minimize this project window and open it in a split window. Okay. And okay, this is the order table. Open and split right. And this is the component here. So now we have these two components. This is the PHP side of the side of the component. And this is the blade side of the component. So it is complaining that result is not passed here. So let's pass this result here. Okay. Uh, so but the problem is here is like we don't have request here uh, we will use the public properties here so let's go ahead and create some public properties here okay now let's go ahead and reference these properties uh, with the proper controls control methods Okay, uh, we'll not use select to, so instead we'll just use the bootstrap select okay, for these two guys. Okay, now let's uh, bind these properties the model. Uh, okay, this is seller ID and this is store ID and and let's make it status and change this label to payment method okay uh, let's go ahead and refresh this uh, okay the last thing is, ah, okay this is still referencing the request let's go ahead and remove the request and change it to status and let's go ahead and change this as well Let's 
going to refresh this now. Okay, so now the problem is it's saying invalid documents applied for for each. Uh, so the thing is we're not returning this result. So let's go ahead and use return instead of this. We refresh it. Ah, cool. We got our table here. Uh, so now let's do some housekeeping here. So this housekeeping actually include like we are using a component for the, uh, this is a search filter component. We'll just remove, we don't need this now. And remove this guy as well. And let's refresh it and see what happened. Okay, cool. So these buttons are removed. We actually don't need these buttons. Um, and okay. Uh, okay, so this is uh, looking pretty nice. So yeah, I think that's it. This should work now out of the box. Let's go ahead and change this to maybe some other guy who has some. Okay. Uh, so uh, I think the now the main thing is like we need to include our live style in script because if you see here the page source, uh, live style in script is not here. So we'll just go ahead and to the live wire um, site and pick up these styles in scripts. Uh, okay, and start in. Okay, so yeah, we just need these directives here. Uh, for this, we will go to our parent class layout and we'll put these guys here. And then the library scripts. I think that's pretty much it for now. Let's go and see like if uh, we have our library style and script being properly rendered. Yeah, cool. So there is no error, it means like it is properly loading. Let's check the source again to see. Okay, so library styles are included. And if you go to the bottom of the page, uh, library scripts are here. Ah, cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and refresh and let's change this now. Cool. So yeah, uh, so as you can see that this is as easy, as easy as it can be. So now it's, you don't need to refresh the page, you don't need to submit the form again and again. So it will just work like um, you can do it. You can do pretty much anything like uh, with this live wire. And yeah. Uh, can see like uh, you can just do anything here uh, yeah, cool uh, for example let's check for windows to see everything is working fine cool so yeah everything is working fine let's check this guy as well only pending only accepted only returned uh, yeah cool and so I think we have only uh, cash order in our local host so yeah that's pretty much it for this video so now you know like how you can extract everything and instead of uh, instead of blade you can just use live wire component which is pretty responsive yeah before you go like there is just one last tip uh, so the pagination doesn't work out of the box with the live wire so for this actually live wire gave another component here uh, so instead of this we will remove this our paginator links and we'll use the live wire pagination so for this you can just go here and you can find the pagination here so for this to use, you will we will just uh, first use the use pagination trait, and let's go ahead and our our uh, our PHP component class, and you will use the with pagination for flywire. And second thing is uh, we need to render these links here. So for that, actually, we'll use poster links here. So but we have our uh, variable name is uh, results. So we'll use results results link, and I think that's it. Okay, so now if you go here, you will see the, these are some different links, and uh, the reason I think this by default this is using a Tailwind UI, so we need to mention the Bootstrap thing. We are using the Bootstrap thing, so you can we can also do this here. Uh, I'll just use the Bootstrap theme here in our component class, and I think we are good to go. Cool. So yeah, so we have our pagination theme as well and yeah uh, that's all for this video so hopefully now you can you can move your blade table components to live wire easily and yeah that's it i uh, will see you in the next video let me know if you have any question or comment if you want to make any video about any other component as well so yeah till then bye bye cheers see you in the next video